So he has created another sprite. That is the accurate way. Okay. Uh, let's paint another one, right? So this time, actually, I'm going to paint uh, something like this. Longer one, lengthier one. Okay, it's here. And looks like same as the drowned, right? Same color as the drowned and same look like the drowned. And then go to the code and go to the and actually drag this to the drown position in the drown. Okay, now you can tell if touching the sprite to the game is over. Okay, so to the tennis ball, you can say in the control if touching the sprite to if touching the sprite to here. Yeah, Touching the sprite to then game over. Um, you can say you can create a new screen, maybe. That is the preferred way. You can create a new screen, actually. Um, another backdrop. Okay, let's use uh, let's use. Which one you like? Let's use chalkboard. Chalkboard, chalkboard, chalkboard. Here, yeah. chalkboard. And there, I'm going to paint. I'm going to paint in the chalkboard saying, game over, game over. And the color that I'm going to use is white color. Make it larger and let's put X game over. This is the game over screen. Okay, uh, then let's go back to the tennis ball. And when you start, let's say looks. And I'm going to the yeah, looks and I'm telling switch a uh, backdrop to the initial screen that is blue sky. Switch backdrop to blue sky. But when touching the sprite, let's switch the backdrop to chalkboard. And after that, let's go to the control and stop everything. Stop all. Okay, that is how you stop the game. So let's play it back. And here, okay. I'm safe side. Safe side. Okay. Okay. Manage to hit that. Okay. Okay. Manage to hit that. Miss it. And game over. And you can hide the sprite, right? You can hide this. When touching these, actually, or you can just make it a little larger. So let's uh, change the. Let's make it a little larger. Oh, let's drop this a little. Now it's okay. So let's play it again. Play it again, play it again, play it again. And then I'm playing again. I have to reset that. So let's uh, set the ball position to some somewhere up. Otherwise, like it's going to game more again. So let's uh, keep the ball. And go to. Uh, I can say from the sensing, go to so what is the sprite position? Y120 and X, uh, let's say X also. Let's set X also from here. I'm setting X also. Y120 and X. Set X. X0. Initially. X0. And for the ball also, I'm setting X0 and Y. Ball should be a little higher than this handle. So 115. 
minus 115 sorry okay it's dropping back actually it should not drop ball should not drop because this is dropping no more 10 steps no but it should not drop back so because if it is dropping the game will be over you don't have time to play and uh, let's give a key forever okay let's give this a key when i press this uh, key control and i'm going to give when i not this i'm telling that okay i need not this not this when space bar is pressed okay when flag is click the reset in position oh. it should be there in the when flag is there this one should uh, set text to this and forever here also this should come after the space bar okay initially position is this but when i press the space bar it's moving up then i have control maybe i can uh, i can keep this little higher than the little more higher than let's say 100 okay when i start it's like this when i press the space key oh when i start it's like this i have to place the mouse when i press the space key you can see when i drop it game over when i start again when i start again here's the position i have to move the mouse press the space bar to start now it looks like a game okay let's add these functionalities now kute metika tapi add karam let's add these functionalities this is for the tennis ball or the ball and sprite 2 and for the sprite at the sprite 2 is doing not doing nothing it's just a placeholder sprite 2 is just i placed over the ground here you can see it's i have placed sprite 2 in the ground the same color as that i have drawn and created the ground okay let's uh, code this quickly and if you have any doubts please ask right what you have to do now you have to add some marks when the ball hit the paddle here ball hits the paddle add some marks right when you can protect the ball you can add some marks and also another thing is the speed of the ball should be gradually slowly or uh, like not that much slowly but you can just increase the speed of the ball also that is just to like make it interesting or make it difficult to play so try to do that add in marks as well as so add in mark part and also increasing the speed of the ball you can think and do that i'll give you time don't worry think can do that okay game marks speed is also increasing right so since the speed is also increasing i hope right okay so anyone else they have this see lakshya no one okay 
So how can we do that? How can we add marks and how can we make a variable? Hmm. You need to add a variable. Here, from variables, you can make a variable and that variable let's name as marks. The variable name is marks. Okay. Then, when you get a hit, here, when you get a hit, that means this one, touch in sprite one. So you can uh, increase the marks by one. Change marks by one here. And when you touch this, you'll get marks. That is very simple. When you touch this, you'll get marks. And the speed. What about the speed? How do we increase the speed? Speed can be increased uh, when you hit the ball. You're getting marks. Okay, that is very simple thing. Change marks by one. When you hit the ball. Okay, how can we increase the speed? Uh, let's create another variable, speed. Speed. And initially, speed is, uh, when you start, the speed is 10. Set speed to, set speed to 10. That 10, you can use here to move the steps. Move speed steps. Move speed steps, right? When you hit that, the speed is 10 and you are moving speed number of steps that means you have two variable marks variable marks variable how you have used marks variable you have introduced and here change marks by one actually when you start you have to set the marks to zero when you press the space set marks to zero but when you are hitting the ball change marks by one here also when you start set speed to 10 that can be added here also with another command set speed to 10 and when you hit the ball, you increase the marks and let's increase the speed. Um, let's say change speed. So speed by one is one solution, but I'm not sure whether if you change the speed by one, will it be, will it be too fast? So let's try. Okay, hit in the ball, hit in the ball. Now speed is 12, hit in the ball, speed is 13, hit in the ball, speed is 14. Hit in the ball 15. Oh, 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 I miss it. Right? Because it is faster. Fast and faster. So, yes, that is very good. Uh, I think that speed is okay. Oh, now it's kind of difficult to me to play the game. So, let's try it again. You need good mouse control and prediction. Okay, here, come here. Oh, 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 I miss it. Right? Or you can uh, change the speed by 0 0.5 or 0 0.2 gradually. Gradually you can increase the speed, not suddenly, little by little. Let's put the space. And now you can see, okay, hitting the ball, hitting the ball. Okay, now the speed is not a big concern because it is Gradually increasing, I can score some marks. Now, actually, to this game, I need some wonders. Wonders means like sometimes you can for uh, you can say uh, you can allow some angels, and also and sometimes you can allow some evils, random angels and random evils. Okay. Angel can help you slow down the ball. That is my idea. You can think, right? Angel can help you slow down the ball while giving some more marks. Let's say 50 marks. When angel is there, you'll get 50 marks. That is a free falling ball, right? Angel ball is a free falling ball. You can introduce a free falling ball, angel ball. And when you touch the angel ball, 
you will get a bonus marks plus what will happen the speed of the ball should be reduced okay when angel ball falls you have to reduce the marks reduce the sorry in, reduce the speed and increase the marks but when evil comes uh, it should speed up the ball speed up the ball rapidly maybe speed is double or you have to decide whether to touch angel or so you can take two two more two more sprites so let's say again ball and this time i'm taking this is angel so let's say this is angel ball when angel comes you will get bonus so let's reduce to 70 and let's place in the top and then the evil so let's say evil is this is the evil okay corona ball okay when it comes you will get reduce marks and also it will st speed up your it will st speed up your uh what uh, your ball so that is dangerous okay so you can try this first add in marks and here add in marks speed is set to 10 and gradually changing the speed marks is set to zero and gradually increasing the marks add in marks you can try now okay have you copied that Okay, add in marks. You have to make a variable, make two variables actually. Are you okay with that? If you are done, please raise your hand. Okay, Senuka has done, others still doing. Okay, Lakshya has done, others still doing, right? Okay, do this quickly. Okay. If you need any help, please tell me. If you need any help, please tell me. Okay. So, what did you tell about new features? Which one, Pute? Metrika Haridha. Are you okay with this too? Yes, Speed in and uh, yes, change in the marks? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Senuk, uh, sorry, Mauli, are you okay with speed and change in marks? Or you have errors? Dev, this it? Are you okay or any errors? Can I help? If you need help, tell me. You're okay. Okay, if you need any help, please tell me. Right, I ask you to add two balls, two new balls. So that is angel ball and evil ball. So when you catch the angel, you'll get bonus. When you catch the evil, you'll get some negative, uh, like maybe it will speed up the ball and you will lose some marks. So that is the thing. Okay, that should come suddenly to the floor. Okay, let me do that. Okay, let me do that since we have only 10 minutes. I'll give you time to try. I'll definitely download this and send you to the group. Then you can study this. Okay, uh, this is uh, the angel. Angel, let's start uh, the angel when click. And after let's wait at least let's wait uh, one minute 60 seconds after 60 seconds only this will come and um, i i'll create like uh, three angels three angels and how i'm going to create i'm going to create uh, on the control create a clone of myself but that should happen after some random time. So that can be done by controlling, wait one second, adding here, but for just one second. 
from the operation of waiting random of 1 to 10 seconds. So within that, this will happen, creating a clone. And initially, I need to hide the original from the looks. I'm hiding the original. And when I create the clone, after creating the clone, when I start the clone, I'm showing that. That's my show button. Showing that. I'm changing the position of the ball by actually it's here. Y is 176. And um, I'm changing the position of Y, Y position, X position. Yes, a, a Y position, I have to keep it status. Status, uh, sorry, keep it like static. From the motion, I'm keeping Y position same. Set Y position 176. That is okay. Or oh, 180 even okay. X position I have to change. Set X to. I'm again picking a random. I want to randomize this. I'm again picking a random and setting X between minus 200 to plus 200. That means anywhere in the top. Y is 180 means this line. This is 180 line. X can be anywhere. We don't know. It's a random. And after show, we need to fall. So let's uh, repeat 10 steps. And also, on the motion, I'm pointing towards, pointing towards here, 180 and move 30 steps. Move 30 steps. And if, from the control, I'm telling if, uh, it sends in, if it is touching, uh, touching the, touching the, touching the, what? Sprite one, sorry. Touching the sprite one. Because this is angel, you'll get some bonus marks from the variables. I'm um, changing marks by, so let's give 30 bonus marks and also change, set the speed back to, set speed back to 10. Or well, let's even less than that. Let's speed back to 8. So let's reduce the speed. Because there is a angel. If it is uh, like fallen down, if it is fallen down, another thing, if it is fallen down from the sensing, and if it is touching the sprite two, touching sprite two, let's disappear that. Go to the control and delete that. Part. Here also you need to delete that clone, right? Even you touch that, you have to delete that clone. Okay, let's try this. Try the angel. Okay, let's space and start in. You can see, okay. I have to wait at least 60 seconds to get that. Otherwise I won't get that. Your speed is increasing. I need an angel soon. No, I don't have any angel. No angels, nothing. Ow. Oh, I think angel should come soon. No, <laughs> I miss it. So let's uh, pick a run. Uh, so let's say it's after 20 seconds. Let's make it soon. Twenty seconds now. Angel should appear after twenty seconds and after another random seconds. We don't know the random amount, but surely after the twenty seconds. No, still nothing is falling. Oh, I got an angel, but I miss it. Another angel. Okay, 
luckily i hit that and my speed was reduced you can see i got 30 marks also angels are falling faster right but angel is not falling down means angel is not falling down angel need to fall down like uh, repeat this should be repeated uh, for 15 times otherwise it will not hit the floor right angel is super fast so let's uh let's move 30 steps okay let's say let's uh, change it to 20 and move 20 steps otherwise like it is too fast to see okay right i think uh, now you understood the angel effect and it's up to you to develop the evil i'll keep it as a homework and up to this up to now i'm sending the code to you so let me send the code this is day three let me rename and send it to you the three clean programmer sb3 okay let me send this to you you can load this open this and you can but don't uh, actually copy my code you try to develop your own version right it's highly recommended you try to develop your own version otherwise you won't learn right try your level best to come up with your own solution and also create the evil this one if you hit this the other way it should speed up your ball it should speed up and also there you see i think yes okay so when you hit the evil you have to speed up your ball and also you should lose some marks. Okay. After that, please send it to the me. Send it to me through the WhatsApp. Through WhatsApp, you can send the developed version. Before next week, you have to do this, right? Maybe today itself. Try to do it today itself. Before next week, anyway, you have to develop and send it to me. Okay, I'll stop with this. Then see you all next week. Good night. Have a nice day. Have a nice day, sir. God bless you so much. Have a nice day, sir. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, sir. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you,